everyone! Welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. This channel is all about adventuring in ways you never thought possible, and maybe some ways you haven't been brave enough to try, so I'm going to try them for you. I am generally a gluten-free cook baker slash cook, but I do throw some gluten in there once in a while because it's good. And I'm the only one that's gluten-free in my house, so I try really hard to appease all the people in my house. But today's recipe is a gluten-free slash wheat recipe. You can do it with wheat flour or with gluten-free flour. Um, I have tried them both. They are both amazing. And so let's get started. Okay, let me tell you what I'm doing. Oh, right. Um, so on my road trip, I went to the great state of Missouri and visited Kansas City, the home of the best barbecue ever, right? At least that's what I'm told. We had great barbecue and then we had some mediocre barbecue. Now, I don't own a barbecue grill or a barbecue smoker per se, um, so I'm not gonna do any barbecue today for our AEC road trip recipe, but while I was there, we actually tried a new recipe called buffalo cauliflower. So uh, it's not really barbecue, but it's kind of the same idea. And we're gonna cook it both in the deluxe air fryer from Pamper Chef and the oven. So this recipe is literally for everyone. You ready? All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is, uh, this is gonna go really fast. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 450. First of all, I'm just going to cut my cauliflower my cauliflower right in half and I'm gonna take out this middle core area but try to keep all of your cauliflower florets intact because you want them to be kind of big like nuggets and I'm doubling this recipe because we have four people who want to eat this tonight so and this is our main attraction this evening okay so once it's all cut up, we're gonna give it a quick wash and we're gonna pat it dry. I'm just gonna do some, I'm gonna do it really quick and I'll be right back, ready? And there we go, all washed and ready. Okay, so into this bowl, I have put a cup and a half of flour and this, I'm gonna use the cup for cup flour. You can use regular wheat flour if you want, I know it works. Um, this is the cup for cup, so that's what I'm using today. Okay, and to this flour, we are gonna add garlic powder, salt, pepper, and paprika. All of the amounts are going to be in the recipe that you can find on www.adventuresineverydaycooking.com. So if ever you're looking for one of my recipes, it's gonna be there. Um, but I think I have, this is doubled, so I think I have like one teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of salt, and four teaspoons of garlic powder. And we're just gonna give that a good mix with the wooden spoon. So I'm gonna use this Thai coconut milk in ours since I want to make it dairy-free because my son-in-law is dairy-free. So I just have, oh, one whole can. Half the can is three-fourths of the cup. One whole can is one and three four, one and a half. So that's what I'm gonna put in. So we're just gonna add it and mix it all together and make a batter. You know, I realized just now like literally at this moment that the cup for cup does have dry milk powder in it so if you are going to make this dairy free not just gluten free make sure that you get a dairy free flour like bob's red mill or something similar so this is what your batter is going to look like all right and all we're going to do is put our cauliflower in and we're gonna stir it up and coat everything really well. I think I'll do it in batches so that we can make sure to get all of them in there. Now, with the non-gluten-free flour, it's like runny and it kind of gets everywhere. With the gluten-free batter, as you can see, it's kind of gloopy. It's just kind of the fact of gluten-free batter. It is what it is. We're making a gluten-free meal. It's still gonna taste amazing but it's just kind of gloopy but it'll taste great trust me on that all right let's just make sure that everybody sees some of that batter 
All right, like I mentioned, we are gonna do some of it in the air fryer and some of it in the oven. So I have both of the air fryer trays and a parchment lined baking sheet. My oven is preheated, so this is gonna go in in like three minutes. All right, and I'm gonna take a pair of my tongs and we're just going to lay some of these right on our tray here. And I'll put some over here on this one. And you don't want them touching, so make sure that however you put them on, you space them out enough because they will stick together while they cook because they're gonna you know this gluten-free batter is sure gloopy but it is what it is we gluten-free people we know we know the struggle all right they are ready to go in the oven a little messy obviously but they're ready to go so we're gonna put this in a 450 oven for 20 minutes we're also going to put it in the air fryer on air fry for 20 minutes all right, so let's change it to air fry and put it at 20 minutes and go. All right, up close of them, oh, they'll go right in. One on the top rack, another up close, and one on the bottom. All right, when that beeps, I will go ahead and swap those two racks and I'll turn the ones in the oven. 20 minutes I will also cut back here because we have to do another step so inside of this bowl I have some coconut oil I'm going to add to it some wing sauce sweet baby rays buffalo wing sauce I'm also going to add some honey and we're gonna give this a really good mix make it come together really nicely and then at the end of the 20 minutes we are gonna glaze every love and last piece and then get it back in for 20 more minutes yes this recipe takes 40 minutes in the oven but you won't be sorry that's why i'll leave it for now and i'll be back when the 20 minutes is up all right and here we have foggy glasses <laughs> hold on delicious looking all right so i'm going to give this a little stir and then we are going to drench each one of these in our delicious sauce. And then we are going to get them back into the oven for another 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to do this fast so I don't lose any of that heat. But make sure you get it everywhere. That's my air fryer saying, hey, I'm done. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'll get to you. Everybody needs to just wait their turn. If they're, they weren't gluten-free, they look just a teeny tiny bit different, but basically the same. All right, once you think it's all covered, get it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and grab these out of our air fryer. Um, I almost think I prefer this look over the oven fried one. They seem to have a little more color. Ooh, I just realized I should probably There we go. See? All fixed. All right. Some of you have messaged me about my silicone basting brush here. It's one of my favorite things to use. I use it for butter and oils and all sorts of things. Um, this is a Pampered Chef item. Um, so if you want to know where you can purchase one, let me know. I'll leave a link to it in the comments below. But I own two because they're invaluable. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this back in while I do that one. Okay, so as I am painting these guys, I realize that I did not spray my rack. That may come back to haunt me. We will see because they're kind of sticking a little. Like they should be moving more than that on the tray. Oops. I just got so excited that I was making buffalo cauliflower that I skipped that step. No, oh, they still come off. Oh, they're already really good. They still need some time. All right, and they're gonna go for 20 more minutes. See you back here in 20 minutes. 
All right, time is up. And look at these fantastic, delicious buffalo cauliflower. Oh man, they look amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and arrange them on this little platter here for no other reason but the thumbnail. You know, that's the hardest part about having your own YouTube stuff. Um, is that darn thumbnail not knowing what's going to attract people to a video and feeling like a dork in front of the camera you know what I'm saying all right look at that they look fantastic and these you'll want to serve just like regular buffalo wings um, you want it they're gonna be a little spicy more so if you use really hot so make sure you have your some kind of dip to cool down and your veggies so yeah so these ones here that was the air fryer going off so we will put those air fried ones on here as well but these look freaking fantastic mm. oh I mean they are so good all right, so I'm venturing to say they're a bit overcooked. All right, well, and they're stuck. When I flipped them around at 10 minutes, they were getting brown like this, but I didn't think they would go this far. So my bad. Cook them for less time in your air fryer, but they're definitely crispy. I'll give you a, uh-huh. Poor cauliflower. I mean, some of these are savable, I guess. Woo! It's hot. Just came out of the air fryer. Use your tongs, people. Use your tongs. All right. That's as good as it's going to get from that one. And time for this famous thumbnail that I hate. Let's first get a real close-up of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, so let's taste for real now. Mm. That is amazing. Mm, that is so good. It's crunchy, it's sweet, it has so many flavors. Oh man, so good. This is gluten-free and dairy-free, but you can make it with gluten and with dairy if you want. But this, you guys, this is so good. It's a great vegetarian option to buffalo wings, but it's buffalo cauliflower. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave me a comment below and tell me what adventure you'd like me to go on next. In the meantime, I'm still on that AEC road trip, so the next recipe, who knows? Who knows where it will be? Will it be Kansas, Colorado, Nevada? I don't know. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. So good. Oh man, such good flavor. And dinner is done.